All right, let's see if we can derive a reduction formula for the integral of powers of the cotangent of x. So we have integer powers of the cotangent of x that we want to find the integral for. And as always with integrals of powers of functions, we always break down the integrand into lower powers. So let's write the uh, cotangent of x to the nth power as cotangent, I'm going to just say cot, because saying cotangent all the time sounds a bit cumbersome, as cot to the n minus 2 power of x by cot squared of x. Okay, so if you're wondering how we got to this step, we simply use the index law that a to the power of b by a to the power of c can be written as a to the power of b plus c. So if we combine these back together, we get exactly what we started with on the left-hand side. Now, by the Pythagorean identity, cot squared can be expressed as the cosecant squared of x minus 1, or the cosecant of x squared minus 1. I'm going to put this in square brackets and copy down the cot to the n minus 2 power of x that we have at the front. So the next step is to expand the first term into the brackets, and this leaves us with cot to the n minus 2 power of x by cosec squared x. So instead of saying cosec and squared all the time, I'm just going to say cosec minus cot to the power of n minus 2 of x. Let's bring down the term on the left-hand side. So integrating both sides, we have expanded the original integral of cot to the nth power to the integral of cot to the n minus 2 by cos x squared minus cot to the n minus 2 with respect to x. And of course, we can write the right-hand side as two integrals. So the integral of the first term minus the integral of the second term. All right, let's change colors again. I'm going to leave this trailing term here because it already has its power reduced. It's had its power reduced by 2. And let's put our attention to the front integral. The integral of cot to the n minus 2 power of x by cosec x. By cosec x with respect to x. Now before we plunge in and use integration by parts, because we can see that there are two parts here, let's realize that this cosec term here is related to the derivative of cot x. So if we let u equals cot x, the derivative of u with respect to x, so the derivative of cot x is actually equal to negative cosec x. And because we can separate powers, sorry, we can separate the differentials, we can write this as du equals negative cosec x dx. And we've got this negative in the front here, let's write this on the other side. So let's write this as negative du equals cosec x dx. Okay, so this integral becomes, after doing that, the integral of u to the n minus 2 by this entire component here is equal to negative du by negative du. All right, so therefore the integral has become the negative integral of u to the n minus 2 du. And of course, this is now simply a power integral, where we just use the power formula. The negative stays out the front. We increase the power by 1, so n minus 2 plus 1, which becomes n to the negative 1, sorry, n minus 1, divided by the new power, which is n minus 1. And of course, we cannot forget the integration constant. And since we made u equals cot x, let's back substitute that. So we have negative cot to the n minus 1 of x divided by n minus 1 plus c. So we can now put this result back into the original integral, which was the integral of cot to the nth power of x with respect to x is equal to the front integral, which we've just worked on, is equal to now negative of the cotangent 
of n minus 1, sorry, cotangent of the n minus 1 power of x divided by n minus 1. The second integral remains, so it's the integral of cot to the n minus 2 power of x dx, and we've got to add the integration constant plus c on the end. Okay, so we have now just derived a reduction formula for the integral of the cotangent of x to the nth power. And hopefully this formula matches what you see in textbooks with tables of integrals. Okay, let's leave it for this video. If you found it useful, please share it with your study mates or your friends. Subscribe to my channel for more videos that may help you with your math studies. Thanks for watching, good luck with your studies, and I'll see you on the next video.